हेलो एवरी वन हाउ आर यू ऑल आई होप यू ऑल आर फाइन वेलकम टू आर इंग्लिश क्लास टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी लेसन नंबर फाइव ऑफ आर इंग्लिश टेक्सट बुक एंड द नेम ऑफ द लेसन इज द लेडी ऑफ द फॉरेस्ट वॉट इज द नेम ऑफ द लेसन नेम ऑफ द लेसन इज द लेडी ऑफ द फॉरेस्ट ओके so every one of you open page number 30 31 of your textbook okay my dear children so before moving towards the story we will learn some new words okay now as you can see in your listen and say aloud section you can find words with one syllable and words with two syllables okay now what do you mean by syllables syllables means the vowel sounds okay now you might have studied the words with 1 2 3 or more syllables okay here we will see some more words okay now here are the one words with one syllable okay we will read e a t eat now here two vowels are mentioned okay but the sound of two vowels is coming together right e a means the sound is e okay so it is one syllable word now how to identify that how many syllable word it is because sometimes what happens the vowels are many but the sound is one right so that time what you have to do you just have to say that word and while saying you have to keep the right hand below your chin okay and as you will say the word you have to see how many times your chin comes down okay so let us try it let us try to say this words okay eat only once though there are two vowels but the vowel sound is one and a chin goes down only once eat right so it is one syllable word now let us see the next word s p e n t spent okay let us try saying it spent now over here there is only one vowel and a one vowel sound so it is automatically a single syllable word okay let us see next l o n g long now here there is one vowel and it also gives us one vowel sound long okay our chin goes down only once so we come to know that it is one syllable word okay my dear children now let us see next l o v e love now here there are two vowels right and in between the vowels there is a consonant that means it should sound differently right but here both the vowels are taken up together and the vowel sound which is coming is one here there are two vowels but the vowel sound is one so let us see how many syllable word is it love so while saying saying love our chin goes down only once try it take your hand below your chin love so only once so it is a single syllable word understood my dear children now these were the words with one syllable now we will study words with two syllables okay now let us read that words now over here in this word v i s i t visit okay in this word there are two vowels and the vowel sounds are also two whereas we seen in this word e a t here also there were two vowels but only one vowel sound here there are two vowels as well as two vowel sounds okay let us try pronouncing it keep your fingers below your chin 
ओके नाउ प्रोनाउंस विजिट विजिट हाउ मेनी टाइम्स योर चिन गोज डाउन इट गोज डाउन ट्वाइस सो दिस वर्ड इज टू सिलेबल वर्ड ओके नेक्स्ट एस ओ एम ई टी आई एम ई एस समटाइम्स नाउ माई डियर चिल्ड्रेन इन दिस वर्ड देर आर फोर वॉवेल्स ओ ई आई एंड अगेन ई राइट बट इन दिस वर्ड वट एवर वॉवेल साउंड इज देर इट इज प्रोनाउंस एज वन नाउ इन द वर्ड वी विल ब्रेक दिस वर्ड ओके एस ओ एम ई सम ओनली वन वॉवेल साउंड T I M E S times only one vowel sound right vowels are four but vowel sounds are two so let us try and see how many syllable word it is okay some times so it it is two syllable word it is two syllable word next F O R E S T forest now here also there are two vowels and two vowel sounds are pronounced so this is how many syllable word yes try it for rest how many time your how many times your chin goes down it goes down twice so two syllable word okay next one the w o n d e r O and E are the vowels, and the sounds are also pronounced separately. So let us try one the. So it is also a two-syllable word. Okay, you have to try with all these words. Okay, my dear children. So this was about the syllables and the words with one syllable and two syllables. Okay. Now my dear children let us move towards our lesson towards the story and what is the name of the lesson the lady of the forest now my dear children what do you come to know just by reading the title of the lesson yes title of the story the lady of the forest what do you understand yes my dear children can you see the picture which is mentioned in your textbook there's a lady right and there's a chimpanzee with her right so what do you come to know by looking at the picture and title of the story that this story is about the lady who might be loving animals okay so my dear children do you like animals yes it can be a pet animal or some wild animal right do you like animals i like animals and cat is my favorite animal okay the same way you might be also liking some animals right some students or some people also love the animals right they love to be with animals they love to spend time with animals okay so let us see about the story Now have you ever wondered that how do animals live in a forest yes have you ever wondered what do they eat and how do, how long do they live yes my dear children have you ever wondered about this things okay now we will learn in this lesson all right now the lady which you have seen in the picture this lady her name is jane goodall what is her name jane goodall she is a lady who love animals okay now first of all i'll tell you something about jane goodall she is a woman who spent her entire life studying chimpanzees now as you can see in the picture that she is having a chimpanzee right the photo is with the chimpanzee right so jane goodall spent her entire life studying chimpanzees so my dear children let us learn some more things about jane goodall 
Now Jane Goodall was a woman who spent her entire life studying chimpanzees. Now chimpanzees, chimpanzee was her fa favorite animal you can say. Okay. Now chimpanzee means, chimpanzee is a monkey, type of a monkey who has black or brown colored fur. Okay. So she started studying. Studying means to gain knowledge about chimpanzees. Okay, she was born on 3rd April 1934 and she lived in London, England. Okay, London is in England, right? So she lived in London. So my dear children, her father was a businessman and her mother was a writer. Now, when Jane Goodall was a child, her father gifted her a lifelike toy, uh, a lifelike toy which looked like a chimpanzee. Okay. Now that toy looked like a real chimpanzee. It was a stuffed toy but by looking it you can say that it is a real chimpanzee. Alright. So my dear children at that time only she developed her love for animals and it was a dream of going to Africa and to study about the wild animals. Okay. So this was a dream that she wanted to go to Africa. After her college, she started doing small jobs. Now jobs means what? She started working to earn money. Okay. And why was she working? Why was she doing the small jobs? She was doing the small jobs so that she can earn money and she can save money and then she can make her dream come true right so one day what happened her dream did come true do you know how one of her friend from kenya invited her to visit their farm okay and that time she went to africa okay she went to kenya she visited her friend and after that in africa she visited the famous archaeologist Louis Leakey. Now what do you mean by archaeologist? Archaeologist is a person who studies, uh, who gains the knowledge about the past. Okay. Who studies about the past. Okay. Now when she met uh, him, he uh, gave him an offer of staying uh, in Africa and studying about the chimpanzees. Now this was what she dreamt for. So then she shifted to Gombe National, Gombe Stream National Park, okay, which was in Africa, which was in Tanzania, okay. So she started to stay there, alright. So it was in 1960, she started her uh, study about the chimpanzees. Now at the beginning stage, when she used to go near the group of chimpanzees, what would happen? They used to get frightened of her and they used to run away, right? Why? Because they were not familiar with her. So it was very difficult for Jane to understand them. She used to observe them and almost after two years, okay, almost after two years, they uh, became familiar with her and then they started to come to Jane for bananas. You know, right, that monkeys, chimpanzees, they like to eat bananas. So Jane used to give them bananas, alright, and they used to come to meet Jane. And now they were not afraid of her, okay. Now my dear children, uh, you know what, she had studied lot of uh, uh, she had studied lot of things about the chimpanzees. She spent 40 years of her life studying chimpanzees and she, be, she was staying with them. Alright. What has she learned? She had uh, learned through various experiences that all the chimpanzees are unique. Unique means different from others. How we human beings are different. We have different likes. We have different dislikes, right? The same way, chimpanzees were also unique. They were also having different likes and dislikes. Got it? So, this was the thing that she came to know after various experiences. In 1977, she has established her own institute, Jane Goodall Institute. 
which supports and protects the endangered animals it supports the environment and protects the endangered animals now endangered animals means what the animals which are about to uh, you can say finish or die okay means their numbers are become the number of animals are becoming less day by day that are known as endangered animals okay now she has received several awards for her uh, support to environment and to protect the endangered animals she has also written many articles okay why she has written many articles to protect the animals she has also written famous books like uh, in the shadow of men the chimpanzees of gombe or 40 years at gombe these are her famous books okay she has also written about the animals uh, farm animals right the domestic animals that we see nearby us she has written about them that that animals are easier to handle and that animals are very intelligent okay they are far more better than the wild animals so what we should do we should also protect them we should treat them very nicely they have rights and they deserve to be treated well okay so we have to look after that animals we have to help that animals and support that animals okay my dear children now she also had asked one question to every one of us that who will help that animals if we will not do that right what is the question if we don't stand up for the animals who will now we are the human beings and they are the animals now we only have to take a step forward to protect the animals right now there are many domestic animals who are uh, roaming around nearby right we have to care for them we have to protect them sometimes if we see some animals who are thirsty we should give them animal we should we should give them water to drink right we should give them food to eat right so this way we can protect the animals now as summer seasons are going on right so what we can do we can always keep a bowl of water outside our house for the birds to drink as birds fly from far away places they might be tired sometimes right and they might be in search of water so if will they if they'll see water then you can they can come down and drink that water right so my dear children in the, we can do such small acts to protect the animals okay my dear children so this was the message given by jane goodell to all of us and we should follow that right so have you understood this lesson which was about jane goodell who loved chimpanzees so much yes okay so if you have any problem about this lesson you can contact me all right now these are some key vocabulary words that we have seen today studying means to gain knowledge chimpanzees means type of a monkey who is covered with black or brown fur okay wild now wild means what the animals who live in the forest okay and who are uh, means they are not uh, looked after by someone they have to look after themselves okay wild animals and africa is the name of a country archaeologist is a person who learns about the past threaten threaten means to frighten someone unique means different from others and endangered means on the verge of getting extinguished means who are about to finish okay so these were the keywords key vocabulary words that we have seen today okay my dear children and i hope that you have understood lesson number 5 that is the lady of the forest now you came to know why jane goodell is known as the lady of the forest because of her love towards animals her love towards chimpanzees all right so if you have any problem or any queries related to this session you can contact me all right thank you so much